So the Zurich workshop is over. I find myself at the airport. I'm about to head home. We've had an amazing workshop. The weather has been kind to us, had some lovely, lovely people come along to learn and to shoot together and just have a great time. People were sending me pictures of mushy, horrible, gray, cold, blech, sort of a sort of snow before I got here and I was a bit worried, but actually I'm the luckiest guy in the world, not only to do what I do, but also the weather just played balls with, ball with us. We got some really great shots around the lake and on our photo walk around Zurich as well. I haven't taken that many pictures, I never really do on workshops because of course the number one priority is to look after the guys who are here on the workshop with me. But those I have taken, they're in a gallery linked below this video. Uh, please go take a look. I'm really excited by uh, the shots that I've taken. I didn't take gazillions of the little uh, lake at Pafkazi because, you know, let's face it, I've been there before. But I've been concentrating on getting little moments, decisive moments, on waiting for the correct moment to take the shot, on really observing what's going on around. And that's what we've really concentrated and worked on during this workshop because it is so much better to understand your environment think about what you're doing wait for that decisive moment when the light is right when everything just comes together and go home with three four five pictures that you're absolutely delighted with rather than a couple of hundred that are nah, so so you know so that's really what we've been doing as i said there's a link below this video please click it go have a look see what i've done hopefully i'll be adding some that the guys did as well. We share a Google Drive folder after the workshop so people can share what they cooked up with the same ingredients. It's always really interesting to see what other people have seen and what they have made from the same thing. We all see the world and experience it completely differently. Anyway, I'm going to go in, get checked in, go sit around, have a coffee, jump on my flight. It's going to be a late old night tonight. I probably won't get home till two o'clock in the morning and then we've got to get straight back into it. Take care and I'll see you soon.